good morning and happy one and done half marathon day. So today wraps up the two course challenge. We just have 13.1 miles to go between now and the end. Um, doing a little Mrs. Banks votes for women today. Um, and hopefully things go okay costume wise because it's supposed to be a hot one. But I think after yesterday's sequence, coat with tails, this is going to feel like the coolest costume I've worn heat wise probably not the coolest ever but you know what I mean so got a petticoat the signature sister's petticoat today um, and yeah so gonna wait for the slacker mobile to head over to the start of the wine and dine half marathon so let's do this two hours away from race start and some of you athletes out there might not be in that first corral. You could be two and a half, three hours away from actually starting your race and what I mean by that is that you need to find some pre-race water right now because I know this why, John. Because you're a veteran runner and I'm a, a dietitian. 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 Alright, so pre-race party over, heading to the start line. This is a long walk to the corral so I'm heading over early. It's about 3.30. Um, get there and get settled. Um, and then it's about, about a mile, a little bit less than a mile walk to the start. So he's over. Enjoy. New course today. So excited to see how that goes. Coming up on the first water stop. Here is my PSA. And never skip a water stop, especially in this humidity. Thank you. Thank you, volunteers. All right, second character stop, Lady Tremaine. I have to stop in honor of our stepsister costumes from last year. Got a big bad wolf sighting. 
one more step to do. Mile two. Okay, done. And we've got Hook and Smee coming up. Five K done. Heading into Epcot. It's starting to rain, but I will take that over. Super hot and muggy. Things are going good so far. Mile four. We've reached the International Squeezeway. Alright, I'm a little bit around like almost to six I think. 
and I'm stopping for Mike and Sully, and Hollywood Studios look so good with all of the Christmas decorations. So excited to run, run through there. Man, I'm very glazed donutty and red. Country Bear Jamboree got to stop for good old liver lips today for Jackie, who is going to be crushing the New York City Ma New York City Marathon in just a few hours. So good luck, Jackie, and go give liver lips a hug for you. Heading into a galaxy far, far away. to run with the toys. Long line for Mickey. Dress fancy. Can't really see. But I'm gonna keep on going. Five more to go. All right, so eight miles done. Made it to the turnaround on the highway. Not the most exciting, but you can look and find friends on the other side. So that's how I'm gonna distract myself for the next X number of miles. But overall, things are going good. Another Powerade water stop. Friendly reminder, don't skip these. So 
So the theme of today is celebrating the music of America, mostly jazz. They were saying it was a jazz festival. So most of the character stops or entertainment stops have live music. So um, it's themed wherever it is. So um, when it was Louis and Prince David, they had jazz. The Cantina Band was in Galaxy's Edge, which is pretty cool. I've never seen them before. So see what happens as we continue on and what other musical entertainment we can find. But my gym boss has gone off, so this little walk break must come to an end. Phineas and Ferb. for every character. Let's see if we hit him around for, from here on out. Mile nine. Do you think Dory realizes we're quite literally swimming with this humidity? Yeah. Foreshadowing there. We got a toy soldier. Coming up on mile 10. Here you go, mile 10. 5K to go. on here. I'm breaking our run Disney rule and running the overpasses. Coming up on another character step. Horace and Clarabel. A step for this one. So why not? Mile 11. And up the overpass and up we go. Say 99 is how I feel right now after 12 miles. <laughs> Mile 12! One to go! In Tapcot!
Yeah. Yeah, spin, spin, spin. Bump. There we go. Time to head in and get that challenge medal. Thank you. Woo. That's some heavy bling. I didn't genie in, genie in there somewhere. Too tired to operate. There we go, kind of. All right, the race is over and I have Lynn's here. She decided to wear the sister signature wardrobe choice of a petticoat. Yes. How did it go, Lynn? Hot take on petticoat. Uh, actually makes me feel cooler. You, know, you get a little breeze. It keeps the fabric off your legs from the dress. I actually enjoy the breeze. I want to talk to Jared about how he's doing. Jared, maybe you should try a petticoat in January. Ah. It might be better than a woolly mammoth costume. Oh, man. Yeah. Can I, can I buy out, like, some of the miles for dopey? Yeah. yeah. You should do like I do, where I prepay my foam rolling and do it all at the beginning of the training cycle, and then don't do it again. So prepay some miles. Can I do, like, virtual queue to mile 24? Is that a thing? I don't know. Can we do that? Maybe that's Titanium Club Run Disney coming your way. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hello from Epcot. It is Monday. I'm going around taking some metal pictures. Um, the weekend is almost over for me. I have about an hour and a half before I have to catch my my uh, nearest connect back to the airport. So, But it has been such a great weekend. So much fun kicking off. Um, the next run Disney season, it's a little crazy to think that we are now under 60 days until the Dopey Challenge and when that's the next race to come up. So really excited about that. Always sad to leave Disney, but thanks so much to everyone for spending time with me, um, all my friends, new friends, old friends, taking me in since I was sisterless this trip. Um, I had so much fun and can't wait to see you all in a few months and Thanks for watching.